Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. So tonight I'm going to crack open one of these. Boddington's Pub Ale. Got this a little while back at Wall to Wall Wine and Spirit. I thought that I'd tried it, but thankfully I have untapped it so I can actually go back and look to see what I've, what I've documented drinking and this wasn't on the list. So I'm going to venture to say that I haven't actually drank it. So, thank goodness for untapped, am I right? All right, there's a little blurb on the back here. It says, since 1778, when it was first brewed at the Strange Ways Brewery in Manchester, Boddington has been renowned as a unique pale gold ale. In English pubs, Boddington's is served using the traditional hand-pulled method, which mixes air with the ale as it pours, producing a distinctive creamy head and smooth body with little gassiness. I mean, I, I'm familiar with some hand pulling methods, but I, I'm going to venture to say that that's not exactly what they're talking about. I'm sure it's probably different hand pulling than what I'm thinking of. But back to the beer. Ordinary packaged ale cannot match this quality, but the draft flow system does. By releasing millions of tiny bubbles when open, draft flow and I, I only say it like that because it's a, a trademark thing. Draft Flow cans give the creamy head and authentic fresh taste of Boddington Pub Ale. The Draft Flow system em employs a small recyclable device which floats in the ale. Which would explain why I could hear something sloshing around and hitting the sides of the can. I was afraid that this was frozen at first and then I read that and realized that it should be this draft flow system. All right, so it says to open the can carefully and pour contents into glass. Unlike my usual method of opening a can where I just bite the top off and just throw it towards a glass and hope for the best. All right. Oh wow, yeah, there was a lot of air that came rushing out. Let's see the draft flow system in action. Of course, I got my handy dandy Bubba Gump glass because nothing screams British class quite like Bubba Gump. I am being facetious, of course. All right. Um, yeah, there are like millions of tiny little bubbles in there. There's a lot of effervescence happening in that glass. And not getting much of a head. I probably could have given it a bit more of a heart pour, I guess, but I uh, kind of thought I did. So yeah, it's a little lighter in color than I was anticipating. I guess I was thinking it was going to be a little bit closer to like a, a golden brown or something. But this is like a, like a, a gold, like almost like champagne gold or something, but... Maybe more like ginger ale gold. Oh no, it's a fine looking beer, I suppose. Mm, it smells good. Picking up ale yeast. I like some caramel notes. I wasn't really expecting that, but it's like a, a caramel malt sort of smell. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Cheers. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> it's It's got some caramel malt flavors, too, but there's a bitterness that I wasn't expecting. Um, kind of reminds me of an ESB that I had years ago that um, a local brewery doesn't even make anymore, but that's the sort of bitterness that it has. It, it It's weird. It, it has, a, like, the, the head to it, is actually creamy but then the rest of the body is a lot lighter than I was expecting it's a weird combination it's kind of like they just took like a um 
I don't want to say uh, Budweiser because it definitely tastes a lot better than that. But that sort of body, um, it, it, it's lighter than a medium body for sure, but then there's a creaminess to it also. It's just really weird combination. But yeah, that flavor's really good. Wasn't really sure what to expect. Like I said, before I poured it, I was expecting it to be maybe more of a golden brown, a little bit darker in color. I, I, I guess probably my problem is what I'm familiar with with British beer is Newcastle, which is uh, something more along the lines of a brown ale, but it's not the case at all. Um, yeah, uh, the body's not bad, a little lighter than medium, which is fine. Um, with um, that creaminess, the flavor's good. I would definitely drink this. Again, I'm kind of sad that I just picked up a single, but I find that if I don't buy singles, then I end up buying a bunch of four and six packs of beer, and then I have all of this beer and spend way more money on it. So, yeah. Not that any of you care, but I thought I'd throw that in anyway. I do appreciate you watching, and if you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below, and don't forget to tell your friends. And this is the Malta Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver, so use it wisely.